Hey everybody, this is Jackrabbit35. Um, I've been not vlogging for a while because, um, I don't even know if you would call this vlogging because it's not really, like, showing you my real life. It's just telling you, basically, some of what's going on in my life. Um... I am always in my room. Not well, not always, but I do get out of my room quite a bit nowadays. Um, I've been sick for basically a week, um, or so, a week or so, and all I can basically do is drink ginger ale. Um, I'm drinking like a raspberry ginger ale right now, and it's not one of my favorites. I'd rather go back to the original ginger ale. Um, I got new headphones that I can talk to my twin over and everything like that so that I don't have to be drowned out by noise in the background and everything like that. Uh, my little baby, even even though she's a doll, um, I know she's a doll, but it, since I can't have children, it's it's been a big like eye-opener. You still got to change it. You still got to feed it. You still got to bathe it. You know, you don't have to bathe it, of course, but you want to keep it clean. You want to feel like a mother. You want to act like a mother figure. Um, right now she's sleeping. I got her a bib because I used to use her hats as bibs. Because she actually, when the pouch inside her stomach is full, water will spurt out of her mouth like a baby would be spitting up after being burped. So water will come out of her mouth. And she'll actually look like she's crying, too. Like it's upsetting her. And I finally came up with a name for her. It's Stinky Michelle Gay. And I'm thinking about changing the last name because I'm basically at the standpoint with my parents that I don't even want my last name, even though it basically stands out as my sexuality. But, you know... We've had to deal with my la our last name for ever since we were born. We were basically cursed with that last name. I don't know, like, with school and everything like that, when we were going to school and high school and everything like that, kindergarten and, like, those lower grades like that um, weren't so bad because kids really didn't know what it meant. And then when we got older, it kind of, like exploded back in the 1990s um but i even though she's a doll i still give her a name i still give her a weight i still get i checked her height and everything like that and i gave her the birth date which i got her on um she wears a bib now she has a uh um what is it called um that bird from Sesame Street, um, Big Bird. She has a Big Bird bib, and I got her a very nice outfit last yesterday on my one-to-one. -one. It's a girly outfit, of course. Um, I'd rather get her boy outfits, but, you know, she's got a couple of them already. Of course, her one onesies are boy outfits. Her night clothes are boy outfits. She's got one footy pajamas, which are rhinos. The, the feet part have rhinos on them, and... Since the outfit is bigger than her, even though it's a newborn, um, it's just giving her more wiggle room and her hands get covered. So babies normally get their hands covered so that they don't scratch their face or something. Um, so it's it's good. It keeps her warm at night and I always keep a hat on her head. You know, sometimes I take it off if it's too stuffy in here and stuff like that. But I always manage to put the AC on. I always read to her from my Goddess and God's book. Um, and I noticed that I've lost a subby. Um, I think that was because I wasn't making videos before. Um, and I have been basically discontinued from my parents. I don't know if they uh, basically disowned me or not um, because I've been in their life since day one, basically. I'm their child. Biologically, I am 
my father is for second born. My twin is his firstborn. So by blood, by by his blood, I me and Bethany are his firstborn children. Bethany was first, and then I came two seconds late. Two minutes later, I was born. But then he adopted Tanya and Amy, and um, and then they were the two oldest. So then that would make them the firstborn. But I don't know much about that stuff. But you know, um, I really just want the best for my parents. And every single time I talk to them and try to let them know that they're doing something wrong or that's not healthy. They go and blow up in my face. Um, and always try to say, oh, I'm not going to call you. Oh, I'm not going to do this. I'm mad at you. Well, damn, I'm sorry if I'm being honest with you. Do you want me to be false with you? Do you want me not to tell you how I feel? Even if it's negative, you should still let your child tell them how you feel. You know, it, it, it shouldn't just be, oh, I'm glad. I'm happy you're... Letting a, a druggie into your house that steals medications and tries to kill himself more than once. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Don't let him get help. You know, even though he says he's going to get help and he never does. Oh, let him steal f medications that your, your sisters and brothers need and let them go through pain for weeks on end. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. No, I'm not like that. I'm sorry. I'm not like that. I'm going to state a fact and I'm going to prove them wrong. Because what my brother did to me was dead wrong. I don't care if it was in the past. He did something wrong and he should pay for it. Or he should get help and then pay for it. Because he needs to go to NA, my brother Matthew. And he has a lot of issues. I think he has, I think he's bipolar. Um, I think he has anxiety because for stealing the, the specific med from me, you have to have like anxiety or panic attacks um, or even heart attacks to take that med that I, t I take. Um, I have a really bad anxiety. Um, I can't even be around large groups for long periods of time or even short periods of time. I can't even be in a room, in an office room with five people. Um, I can't even go to a classroom. Um, that's how bad it is. So at this point right now, I'm trying to get a laptop. I'm actually going to be starting to save up for a gaming computer. And um, I'm going to be doing my, my work and studies on that while designing games. I think that I uh, even if it's made to make games on it i'm thinking of doing my um my designing of clothing for plus size people on it i'm gonna see i'm gonna talk to the people at walmart that's in cromwell that i go to and see if i can do other stuff besides gaming on it i could do gaming but that could be for my youtube channel but i want my life goal is to do a job in Basically, after I get my diploma and my ring and everything like that, I want to start designing clothes for plus size people and make it make it make it possible for them to afford it while still putting money in my in my pocket. You know, um, I don't want it to be so expensive that it burns a hole in their pocket, but yet not not gonna be like taking too much out of mine either you know i want to make it affordable for people to wear clothes that are fashionable for skinny people and nice for skinny people but make it for plus size people so they feel confident in their own skin i'm very plus size look i'm a plus size girl i'm a big meaty girl and i don't find a whole lot of clothes i literally have a lot of hand-me-downs <coughs> sorry um i have i've been a plus size girl for a very long time and it's very hard for me to find clothes i go to the men's section and get sweatpants and hoodies or shirts that i get for my sister my twin 
Um, she's lost quite a bit of weight due to a surgery. She got a gastric sleeve. And she's been losing weight and following the orders now because before she wasn't and she was getting sick and, and in a lot of pain and having to spend a, a while in like a week or two weeks in a hospital bed being IV fed and everything like that. So she learned her lesson and she's doing good now. And I can't go through that surgery because of how bad in shape my body is. So... Plus, I smoke, and I can't just quit for that period of time, lose all that weight that I need to lose, and go to see nutritionists, and talk to my doctor, and everything like that. My heart is already bad, so being in that surgery, might I might even lose my life. But I gotta go, guys. Um, I'll try to vlog more, and actually show you around my house. Not the upstairs, because that's my sister's personal space. But please check out my sister's channel at Sharon's Nail Boutique. And she's been doing a lot, a lot different, a lot of different stuff. You probably see, seen her videos on the, um, the Dreamcatcher. And I actually gave her some advice because she felt it was too low on the nail. I said, well, Dreamcatchers have loops in it to hang them up. So all you have to do is add like a little loop on the top of the of the dream catcher and it'll look like it's hanging on the nail. So there you go. Fill in that little space. And she said to me that it was a really good idea. So next time she'll probably do that. Um, I also got a lot of glitters that um, a lot of mixes you guys have seen that I've shown. Um, I'm willing to sell them. Um, in, um, bigger pouches, um, I'll probably show that, um, in, in another video, um, but if you guys want any of my mixes, um, let me know in the comments down below, um, if you want any of my mixes, let me know, and I will sell them to you, um, they're very beautiful mixes, all different kinds, from light to dark. Um, the first few mixes actually have glow powder in them, so they glow in the dark too. Um, which are most of the Tokyo ones, the Tokyo Nightlife, all those kind of mixes right there. Those are the ones with the glow mix in them. So just to let you know, um, I will sell the mixes. Um, it's up to the size, it's up to how much I put in them. Uh, most likely five bucks, um, I believe I will sell them for. Um, and I will put a real hefty amount in there. And I will make sure that everything is secured and well taken care of and everything like that. So you don't have to worry about it. I just need um, to make sure I have enough stamps and everything like that. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.